Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the Falcons and the 49ers. What a matchup we have at wide receiver today. Two of the biggest threats in the NFL who love to cause chaos for opposing defenses. How about this matchup, Phil? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. When you have uh, speedy wide receivers, what you have to do, you've got to make sure your safeties are smart, they're talented. Both teams have that because it is easy in this game nowadays to get the football to the wide receivers. If they can't get open down the field, just throw them some screens on the outside and dare the defense to tackle it. He's got a chance to return this one. He stacked up at that point. a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Frank Gore gets it here. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Bolden's in the slot. Second and three, challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. First and 10. A tackle behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. They break through, tackle them behind the line. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are, there's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third long, I would be very cautious and conservative. We watched them in practice this week, Bill. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. Here's the first snap after the big play. Pitches it back. That'll stop the play right there. You got to know if we're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short games. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. down now looking to the right side and throwing catch made by Mario Manningham the defense they are great tacklers so what do they try to do they try to make you throw the football short here in the red zone so they can come up and make the tackle Third and goal at the five. And the give to Frank Gore. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. 
And it's a fake field goal. Under pressure and incomplete. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? And that was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Defense calls a timeout. Center. Midway through the first, Ryan's got the football. That ball is picked off. He's brought to a halt. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? The Falcons' defense now is going to go nickel. Now first and ten. Throws the pass. Asante Samuel has his hands on it. They bring him to the turf. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Throws to the right. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. White lined up in the slot. Second down and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Tony Gonzalez makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. They've got a first down now after that catch. Inhales the pass. Slips past one player. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Second down and four. Steven Jackson gets it here. And he's got four yards. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. First down here after the run. Lions turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. Falcons now move the chains. That brings the play to an end. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corners. That 
was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Play fake here. Looks around. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Second and ten. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. Well, the defense always says, let's call some fumbles. Then when you cause it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. Davis is a receiver in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Slips right to his fingertips. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. White's going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. This long drive continues. First and ten. They give it to the running back. They go up the middle. Good piece of tackling. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Mounting a serious drive. And then seven, Jackson's got it on the handoff. You cannot let offensive players get up the sideline in the NFL. That's where a lot of big plays are made. The defensive end that time, well, he was on the end, and he stopped that run for very little gain. Play number 12 coming up for the offense. Third down and eight. Looking across the middle, incomplete, almost going in the other direction. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver, disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. The Falcons now getting set for a field goal. Team. How about that, Jim? You get a beautiful long drive. You don't convert on third down. You try to get some points. Your kicker comes out and misses it. And look at the head coach. He is giving it to the kicker. The defense stops the clock.
down here. It's handed to the running back. Now slashing to the right side, looking for room. And he's brought to the ground. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, I guess the good news is he was able to get up and they got him off the field, but we've seen many times guys walk off and you think they could be okay and you find out they're out for the year. Jim, you and I both know he's a franchise player. Uh, we'll let everybody know what we find out as soon as we get the information. Nickel formation for the defense here. Third and one. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. And they're going to run it right. Davis shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and they bring it down at the 38-yard line. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good, it's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First and 10, go run it. Here's the handoff. Well, when you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller, and there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. 49ers in the end zone. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. the 49ers for the extra point and it's a fake could have taken the one point gimme they went for the two and they are turned away 49ers setting up for the kickoff Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Two-minute warning. offensive line gets in position can they protect their quarterback looking for a receiver on the left side here they pounce on him there nice job by the quarterback nobody open down the field he throws it short it does not get a first down but it sure makes third down a lot easier Davis is in the slot. Third and six. He'll fire it out to the left. That catch gives them a first down. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing.
That reception gave them the first down. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Intercepted. Ball's loose, and the defense has it. Well, nowadays, the linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Colin Kaepernick, under center. First and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. The 49ers get a first down. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. First down here after the completion. And he was wide open. Down to the 15. How about that? We just saw the fly route straight down the field by the wide receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. This play set up by the long gainer. thrown to the ground. Uh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Ohio! Ohio! The defense comes out in the nickel. Handoff to the back. To the right side. See what they do on this third down situation. Touchdown, San Francisco. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. go in the half and that means we've got a booth review so the boys at the booth they want to make doubly sure the call was correct under two minutes they decided hey we, we need to take another look at this but the play stands as is yeah Jim it was a good challenge upstairs by the officials uh, it was not clear cut but once we have seen the play in slow motion replay well now it's clear cut now and they crash into him ending the return at the 20 yard line Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. First and 10, the give to the running back. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Second down here after that run play. Three-step drop, throws to the right. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Yeah, yeah. 
looking for an open receiver on the right. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. The 49ers in field goal formation. The kick is good. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them and they gave up the field goal. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers are leading by 17. The Falcons ready to return the kick. He'll start his return. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. On first down, the third quarter begins with this play. And he's taken down. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blindside hits because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. Wow, what a catch. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. After the long game, let's see what they do here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Had it, but dropped it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Second down and 10. They're setting up screen. Catch is made. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that's the new NFL. Just keep throwing behind the line of scrimmage and see if the athletes can catch it and make some yards. None there that time. A loss of a couple yards. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first third down and the quarterback is taken down Jim when you get in these situations there's not much you can do third and long not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations Jackson's out in the slot Matt Ryan with the long pass down the field. This is going to set up a change of possession. It's fourth and long. What do you expect to always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. 